All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to use GarageBand to make ringtones on your iPhone in 2021. Now, if you've never done this before, it's really cool. It's a nice way to customize your iPhone as well as far as like ringtones, notification sounds, that kind of thing. Now, this should already come installed on your iPhone, but if GarageBand's not, it takes like 10 or 20 seconds to download it. And then when you have it downloaded, you want to click on the audio recorder option. So from in here, you're going to want to click the little squiggly. It's going to be in the top left-hand corner. It's like the third option. And then it's going to bring you to this section. So from in here, you're going to need to add a song that you have already downloaded on your iPhone. I'm just going to pull up like a beat that I have. It's, uh, you know, in my files right here. But whenever you have this song or the beat or the whatever sound you got, you want to drag it into this section right here. Now I'm just going to, you know, click play so you can kind of hear that it's there. It's just like a kind of like a, a fresh beat, I guess you could say. But um, you could do some different things with it. You could like cut it, um, shorten it. Uh, you could tweak it however you want to do it. But whenever you've got, you know, the sound ready to go or the song ready to go, uh, you're going to want to click the uh, top left hand corner and it's going to be like a little down button and it's going to add it into, you know, a different section here. So we want to click this. Now it's going to save it and we are almost there. So what we want to do is hold down on it and we wanna scroll down to where it says share. Then we wanna click share and then we have the ringtone option. So this is um, basically it. You're gonna to wanna to, you know, save it. You're gonna be able to export this, uh, you know, this song, turn it into a ringtone. I'm just gonna name it real quick here. Maybe like new tone, new ringtone, something like that. If I can spell, just bear with me. All right, and then uh, when you got the name saved, you want to click export. Doesn't take very long, and then we're going to go into our, you know, sounds, ringtones, and see that it's there. Now it should be at the top after you've created it, and boom, there we go. Okay, uh, just a cool little tip out there. I mean, this will work on any iPhone you guys are currently using. Hope you enjoyed this. You know, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you in the next one.